Welcome, Angie Angie Fitness TV. Are you ready for a basic weight training session on the rebounder? Grab that small ball, grab your weights. Are you ready? We're gonna start with that beautiful health bounce. Here we go. I want that ball in between your legs. You're not squeezing it, you're merely holding it. Why, Angie? It gives you a natural core engagement. Woo. So let's just focus right here. Pressing down into the mat. Deep breath in. Beautiful total body weight training session today on the rebounder, guys. Medium weights. Inhale. Really important. Just a health bounce. Really important that we pick up those weights and we do weight training. I love weight training on the rebounder, on the mini trampoline surface because it's an unsteady surface. So it really requires more recruitment from our stabilizing muscle groups to really stay balanced. You have a natural core engagement the whole time because you are on an unsteady surface. So it really makes your body have to work more. Now with that being said, you're still in the health bounce. Anytime you want to take your weight training, take it to the ground. Absolutely take it to the ground. Now, let's make sure we're not rolling on the outside of our foot or rolling on the inside of our foot. All right, 50-50. Soft bend in the knee, focus on the heel, pressing back and down. I really need you to engage the glutes, engage those hamstrings. So pressing down with the heel, if you can. Can you do that for me? Okay, I want you to visualize you have taffy. Pull the taffy out, pull the taffy in. Grab, you got taffy right here. Pull that taffy out. We're just in that health bounce, saying hello to that lymphatic system. Pull that taffy out. Just starting to warm up and through that upper body. Pull that taffy out and in, moving through the wet cement. Pull the taffy out and pull it back in, nice and slow. Pull it out and pull it in. Again, just grab it, pull it out, move through the wet cement and pull it in. Next one, pull it out, keep it out. And you're gonna go thumb in and out. Grab the rope, pull it out. Grab the rope. Pull it out. You have a rope by your ears. Are you still in that health bounce? Yes. Is that upper body waking up? We're gently getting that body nice and warm. Some of us are already warm. Wink, wink. <laughs> All right, you guys. Grab that rope. Pull it out. Grab that rope. Pull it out. Woo. All right. Splay your fingers. Press it back. Just little press backs, soft bend in your elbow, just doing the health bounce. So you're squeezing that lemon in between your shoulder blades. All right, if you want, take the bounce up. So you can start to take your feet off. Fundamental level, people. You're gonna stay in that health bounce. Now you can start to add those arms if you want. Now, when you land, focus on that press down. Landing nice and equal between that right and left leg. Always be mindful. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. All right, bicep, tricep time. I'm grabbing my eights. Are you ready? Yeah, you're gonna hold the ball up. Two, down, two, up, two, single, right, then left, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, we got a weight train. Man, you can't just do rebounding and not pick up weights, you guys. We all need weights. All right, hold it down, thumbs up, single, right to left, hammer curl. Now this is just very basic weight training. 
Do you feel that pelvic floor engagement? You're not squeezing your ball, you guys. You're just holding that ball in between. That helps track hip, knees, ankles coming forward. Whoo! Make sure you don't not leaning too much on the left leg or too much on the right leg. All right, both arms at the same time for eight, seven, six, five. You can do lighter weights. Four, three, two. Tricep kick back. Eight, seven. Slight forward hip flexion. Are you nice and equal between that right and left leg? Tricep bicep track. You can have that light weight, you guys. I want your shoulders melted away from your ears. Eight more, eight more, eight more for eight. Seven. Sit back in your heels. Feel the glutes and the hamstrings naturally engage. Two more. All right, shake it out really quick. Palms up, W curl right and left. This is a W curl, palms up to the side. Right now, are you sitting nice and neutral? So check in with your feet. Are they rolling out? Are they rolling in? No, no, no. Sometimes a good cue and visual is to sit back in your heels. Then you're gonna feel the glutes. You're gonna feel those hamstrings engage. So just nice and neutral, 50-50, between that right and left leg, right? Beautiful bicep, tricep track, light weights. Or you can just do the arm movements. You don't have to have weights. All right, take it up. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two, two, up, two. In a minute, we're gonna go into chest and shoulders. Let's go down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. You're just gonna do four more, we're moving on. Down, two, up, two, three more. Down, two, up, two, two more. Down, two, up to one more, down two. Now we're moving to chest. I'm gonna go into fives. We're going chest and shoulders. Hoop. I'm gonna still have that ball in between. Oh, you're gonna love me. Make sure you're nice and neutral. Shoulders melted away from your ears. In two, out two. In two, elbows kiss each other. In two, out two again. In, two, chest and shoulders. Whew, four more, four more. In for two, out two. How about two more, you guys? I got fives in my hands. One more. All right, you can drop the weight. Row to the chest height. Row, shoulder work right here. So today, our entire weight training session, we're gonna have a ball <laughs> in between our legs and we're gonna be standing. How about that? We're just using this unsteady surface to give our body an extra boost. Now again, you're not squeezing your ball, you're merely holding it. I don't want a constant contraction. Arms straight and now to the side. One, front and side. Two. Three. Three. Four. How about four more for me? Here we go. One. One. Three more. Up. Up. Two more. Up. Oh, one more. Up. Woo, quick break. Take it back up, in two, out two now, chest, in, two, you see why? Grab those five pound weights, in, two, Woo, chest here. Keep it going, 
Are you nice and equal between that right and left leg? Are you burning? Again, you don't have to have any hand weights. Just practice the movement. You're not squeezing your ball. You're merely holding it. Down. Let's go. Eight. Seven. To the side. Bent elbow. Whoo. Looking good. All right. Put the weight down really quick. What about those push-ups? Keep that ball in between. I said we're stamped, but I want to do push-ups. Here we go. Down, two, up two. I love push-ups. They're good for the entire body. You're still holding the ball. Again, down, two, up two. Two more, two more. Down two, up two. Last one. Down two, up two. Try to keep the ball. We're gonna go into squats, overhead presses. What weights do you want? Now again, you don't have to have the ball. I'm gonna grab my eights. Feet are hip width apart, shoulder set back. Let's just squat. Squat, sit back in your heel. Oh yeah, hold on to the stability bar if you need to. Woo! So sitting back in your heels, really letting those glutes and those hamstrings engage. Eight more, eight, seven. Oh, I feel it. Nice and equal between that right and left leg. Don't lean on the left more. Don't lean on the right more. Woo! All right, take the waist up, right and left, right. Left, right, good overall. Body weight or weight training session using that rebounder. Eight more, we go back into a squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Basic squat. Squat down and up. Don't you love that ball? Again, you're not squeezing it. You're merely holding it in between your legs. It tracks the knees, hips, ankles, toes forward, as well as a natural pelvic floor engagement. But don't squeeze. You don't want that pelvic floor on overtime. You just don't want the ball to drop. Shoulders set back. Eight more, eight more. Squats are beautiful for that overall lower body strength. In physical therapy, we always get people to squat. We say, sit up in your chair, sit down. Palms face away, shoulders, one, two. So that's a fundamental move we do in outpatient physical therapy and skilled nursing facilities. But we don't say squat. We say, can you sit in a chair? Can you stand up? Can you sit? <laughs> Woo! Right here. We have back and inner thigh coming up next. Beautiful job today, you guys. All right, let's go back to the beautiful squat. Down. Or let's just lower the butt and lift it. Don't you just feel your entire lower body? All the muscles getting nice and strong. Are you nice and evenly distributing your weight between that right and left leg? Yeah? So you're still gonna hold that ball. We're gonna sit back. We're gonna run, run. One, two. We're doing the back right now. One, two. I got eight pounds in my hands. Evenly distributing the weight between that right and left leg. Feel those glutes, feel those hamstrings. Beautiful engagement, moving through the wet cement. Come on, keep it going. One, two, it's like pulling a rope, pulling a rope. One, two, one, two, pull that rope, pull that rope. Right here, whoo, pull a wide rope wide rope so you're grabbing wide it's rear delt 
and some rhomboid work. Pull that rope. Easily take it down. Are you nice and even between both legs? Sitting back. You just feel that core engagement. Grab a rope. Grab that rope for four, three, two, one. Stand up, soft bend in your knee. We're gonna squeeze that ball, inner thigh work. So now I want an 80% squeeze. You are trying to pop this ball. Woo! And release, squeeze. Now is the only time I'm asking you to squeeze. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze. I want you to pop your ball. Isometric contraction. And release. Again, squeeze. Squeeze. Now, are your shoulders set back, down and away from your ears? Tailbone tucked under. Chest tall and proud. Soft bend in your knees. Hip, knees, toes, ankles pointing forward. Release the squeeze. One more squeeze. Pop that ball. I want the inner thighs to feel it. Now do you feel when you squeeze this ball, you naturally feel your pelvic floor hammock. All those muscles lift up. Hip hinge forward. Let's do runners. One, two, three. Right here. Sit back nice and even between that right and left leg. Whoo! Yeah, that heart rate's high. Yeah, you're sweating. Sit back in your heels. Want a little more glute hamstring activation? Lift your toes off the rebounder mini trampoline surface. We're going to do palms back. We're going to run wide, wide. Grab a rope. So a good visual is sitting back in your heels, grabbing the rope up like a pulley system. Woo! Take the weight to chest height, no higher. Sit it back. Again, you don't have to have any weight. You don't have to have the ball. You can do this all on the ground. Your call. Woo! All right, let's sit it up, squeeze the ball. Isometric contraction for the inner thighs, adductor muscles. Squeeze that ball. Shoulders back, chest open. Oh, it's not a butt squeeze. Inner thigh squeeze, release. Now let the inner thighs squeeze. Your butt will naturally squeeze, but it doesn't begin with a butt squeeze. Can you make sure it's the inner thighs that are squeezing. Release one more time. Nice and neutral. Sit up tall. Yes, you got a soft bend in your knees. Nice and neutral with those legs. You're not leaning more on that right leg or that left leg. Balance yourself 50-50. Come on. Release one more time. You got it. Squeeze. Woo. Come on. Oh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inner thigh. It's not a butt squeeze. It's an inner thigh. You're going to eagle arms. Here we go. Eagle arms. Eagle arms. I want you to think about squeezing that lemon in between your shoulder blades. Right here. Eight more. Here we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Sit back in a squat. Sit it back. Hold this squat. Can you lean back on your heels to get that glute hamstring bite? All right, deadlifts. Two by two. Here we go. Last song. Last working song. Oh, feel that bite. Lean back in your heels now. Nice and even. Beautiful basic weight training class. You can level it up or you can level it down. We hit those squats. 
overall leg movement. We hit those adductors. We're hitting the glutes. We're hitting those hamstrings. Oh, beautiful movement, shoulders back. Now, let's talk about a deadlift. Hinging from your hip, decrease the range of motion. If you have any back pain, come to the tops of the knees and then lift, don't go so far down. Now let's also talk, you're on that unsteady surface. Do you have evenly distributed weight between that right and that left leg? How is your foot placement? Nice and neutral, soft bend in the knees. Are you pressing up through your heels to get that glute hamstring activation? Right here, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Couple more, four more. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Really evenly distribute the weight between that right and left leg. You wanna work both legs at that same body weight position. All right, so now you get to take your ball off. Hold on to your stability bar if you need to. Left leg out, outer thigh work's gonna finish us off. One two you can put that weight there you can hold on to a stability bar no weight your call a lot of balance here i know up up four more here we go four three two can you hold it up hold it up outer thigh hold two three four Five, six, seven, eight more. We're going on eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Other side. You ready? Point the toe. Here we go. We got eight. One, two. Hold on to your bar if you need to. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Let's do four more. I think I did four more. Four, whoop. Three, <laughs> two. Now hold it up. You guys, it is time for a beautiful stretch. All right, just pick a leg, any leg. Beautiful stretch here. And lifting a leg. Now let's get some ankle mobility. Just circle that ankle. Now make sure you point and flex. All right, take that leg, take it to the back of the room, look over the opposite shoulder. Getting some spinal mobility in through here. Stretching out your tensor fascia lata. Little bit of your glute is getting stretched here. Let's take that back leg. Let's just hug it in, in front leg is straight. All right, let's lift that back leg, circle. Circle that ankle in both directions, just loosen it up. Be sure to reverse. Take away from joy. There's always in the world from the early light. Point and flex. All right, take that back leg, take it to the front of the room, look over the back shoulder. Change. We always choose. 
All right. Take it up and take it over. Heels on your butt. Arms reach away. Just nestle your butt cheeks into your heels or your calves. All right, if you can, we're gonna do an upward facing dog. Hands are in your frame. All right, can you put your toes on the frame of your rebounder? And your hands on the frames and lift up. Heels are coming down. Beautiful, beautiful calf stretch. Right here, just sit. Last song here to stretch through. Want to make sure we get a really beautiful, beautiful stretch here. Let those heels just dangle. Feel that calf really stretch. Okay, drop your knees on the rebounder. Take one leg forward, one knee on the rebounder, and just get a beautiful hip flexor stretch. All right, take your back hand on the frame, front hand up. Spinal rotation and twist. Never too late to change. Let go. Never look back. Don't wanna be a prisoner of my past anymore. All right, we're just gonna rotate to the other side. We're gonna stretch that other hip. Hands can be on the frame. You can have a hand on the stability bar or wall. And we're just lifting. Backhand down on the frame, front fingertips to the ceiling. Even when it is my fault, gotta own my side of the story. Take all the lessons I learned with me. All right, let's sit on the rebounder. Let's take it wide. Just pick a side and begin to reach for that side. You can have your hands on the frame. You can also point and flex. Other side. Take it up. Right hand is going to reach to the left side, back of the frame. Right hand is, sorry, left hand will reach to the back of the frame on the right and give a little pull away. All right, put your hands on the frame and put your feet on the mat. Beautiful hip opening. Let your toes hang on the frame. Lift your butt cheeks. It's really a beautiful hip opening exercise. Just open up and through the hips. Come on down. Reach for those toes. Hands can come on the frame. You can just rotate side to side if you want. You can press that right hand in, pressing away. Just move. You can dig your heels into the frame, hands into the frame, and just fold over. You can also give a little push back, press back. It's gonna open up and through the shoulders and your back a little more. You can cross your hands, um, put them on the frame, cross your hands, and then cross them the other way. Many ways to stretch here. All right, sit it up. I've got to do my goddess stretch. Look over that shoulder. Oh, look over the other shoulder. Deep breath in. And exhale. Angie, Angie Fitness TV, I'll see you for our next workout. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me as you knew.